Birds have bones that are hollow and uh, they have all kinds of tricks to stay in the air. We don't have that. We have powerful muscles and we can run and walk with it and cycle very fast, no problem. But to stay in the air with that kind of mass we've got is, is not easy. Either you need a huge uh, wingspan, and that has been done in the past, like the Gossamer albatross, uh, yes. with a huge wingspan and a passive airplane in which a cyclist was sitting, powered with legs. Uh, that's a possibility, but I think it's more exciting, your plan is more exciting, because you want to have movable wings. Now, if you want to have movable wings, you cannot drive them with the pectoral muscles that we've got, because they are too weak. Uh, the upper body cannot produce um, about a third of our total power output. Our legs are much stronger. So if you would want to do it with your shoulder muscles, you would have to assist them with extra engines. And if you do that, and you've got uh, wings that move in the same way that your arms do, and you learn to make the right movements to fly, then in principle, yes, it's possible. For me, as a neuromechanics professor, it's very interesting to see how the brains of humans in the future will make it possible to fly. How are they going to use their hands and arms in motion to make those assistive wings move in such a way that they don't crash? Yeah. Birds can do wonderful things. If you've got an airplane that loses speed, it will crash on the ground. But if you hold up your hand and have a bird of prey land on your hand, you will not feel it. You will just feel the extra weight. You won't feel it breaking. Because a bird can stop in the air and still have sufficient lift to land. A, a, a plane cannot do that. A passive airplane cannot do that. But with movable wings you can. So, the exciting thing is, if we've got movable wings that are, have assistive engines, uh, would be, we be able to stop and land without having any speed left? That would be great because then we could just land in the city somewhere without having a runway. Yeah. That would be ridiculous of course, that would be extra difficult.